the perfect cannonball. Number two, surround yourself with great friends. Number three, be the master of the grill. Number four, create your own soundtrack. Number five, be the life of the party. And number six, don't get burned. If you have your Bibles, I'm going to ask you to go over to Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5. And uh, as you're doing that, I'm going to begin reading a, a few scriptures and then we'll kind of get where we're going today. Romans 1.21. You just go to Galatians 5, Romans 1.21, because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were thankful, but became futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Romans 1, 28 through 30, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting, being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness. They're whispers, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, boasters, and here's where I think we are at this day and age, inventors of evil things. Inventors of evil things. Jeremiah 17, 9, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? 1 John 5, 19, we know that we are of God and the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. And Romans 3, 10 through 12, it is written, there's none righteous, no, not one. There's not one who understands. There's none who seeks after God. They have all turned aside. They have together become unprofitable. There is no one who does good. No, not one. I want to try to make a little bit of sense of kind of what's been happening, what's been going on in the world since the beginning of time, but what I think has hit uh, very close to home in these last couple of weeks and just talk about the church's purpose and response to it. And I've entitled this message, Don't Just Be a Good Christian. Don't just be a good Christian. Let's pray. Father, we come to you today in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for your goodness, God. We thank you that, uh, Lord, though we are in this crazy world, we are not of the world. We are of you. And Jesus, we thank you that your power and your love is greater than all. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, amen. And amen. I mean, I'm sure that you, like me, over these past couple of weeks, disturbed, shocked, sad, whatever you want to call it, uh, with the Colorado movie massacre. Last Friday, as that guy James Holmes uh, painted his hair like the Joker and went into that movie theater and shot, I believe it was 71 people. 12 of those 71 people died. Uh, it was just a terrible, horrible massacre. And of course, he has no reason for doing it. It's something that can't be explained. Several of the people that died were very, very young people and just one of those kind of horrific moments in, in U.S. history. And of course, it was only, uh, I think they said 13 miles from where the Columbine shootings were several, several years ago. And of course, while this is going on, um, you know, the, the Sandusky trial, the former Penn State coach, and it comes out that for the last, whatever, 15 years, uh, he's been molesting children, little boys. I believe he was uh, convicted on 48 counts of child molestation and uh, just those families and all the horror that's going on. And while this was all going on, you know, if you, if you watch the news, it's just, you know, all this kind of stuff is around the, the world. And, uh, you know, even our church, we're involved with A21, where with Christine Kane, who just spoke here last week, where we rescue uh, kids, young girls. And that's where it's really getting in our day and age and what's so perverse and what's so evil about all this is how much of it involves children. Whether it's child soldiers, whether it's exploiting children, whether it's sexually trafficking children. Christine was telling us that some of the girls that are rescued were only six and seven years old and they're forced to service men 
up to 30 times a day. Carrie and I were watching the news the other night, and uh, just a couple of nights ago, you might have saw this, they arrested a man right here in Florida because they intercepted emails where he was intending on killing children, dismembering them, cooking them, and was going to eat them. As they arrested him, his, his, his uh, plea was that, hey, this was just a fantasy. I was never really going to do it. And as I'm absorbing all this this week, you know, these scriptures that I just read to you come to mind about the depravity of man and the sinful nature of man and, and on the dark side, what man is, is capable of. And it's so important that every now and then we're, we just kind of wake up and we remind ourselves, church, listen, evil is rampant in this world. Evil is real. There are very sinister, dark forces at work in the world today. And as the church of Jesus Christ, listen, we're not called to, to hide from it. We're not called to run from it. I want to tell you that no matter what is going on in the world today, our God's power and our God's love is bigger and greater in Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is Lord. And I think a lot of times we look at some of these scenarios and we think, well, you know, of, of course, just because of the access and especially things like pornography and stuff like that, yes, it's worse and where sin abounds, grace that much more abounds. But we need to remember those scriptures that I read about the depravity of man, the wickedness of man's heart because of sin. Remember, this has been going on since day one. That's why we, that's basically the story of Noah, that by Genesis chapter six, man in his fallen state, all of his thoughts were only evil continually all the time and terrible things were being done. That's why God wanted to kind of wipe everybody out and start afresh. That's why the law had to be instituted. So the, the man, the, the law was our schoolmaster or kept us in guard, the Bible says, until Jesus came. Why? So man would not replicate the days of Noah over and over and over again. Get so wicked that they would have to just be done away with. A lot of times we think this stuff is new. But I want to remind you that when Jesus was born, remember Herod, because of his fear of the prophecy of the coming Messiah, Herod had every male baby two years old and under, executed and put to death. How do you think we would feel in Jacksonville or, or whatever location you're attending if all of a sudden the government ordered that all male kids, two and under, instantly be put to death? Evil has always been in this world, and it will always be in this world until Jesus returns and finally establishes a reign that truly rules in love and, and righteousness. And as the church, God has called us in all of this darkness and in all of this craziness and in, and in all of this evil and in all of this wickedness and all of this stuff going on, God has called us to be a light in this dark world, we don't wrestle with flesh and blood. We wrestle with powers and principalities of the air. And after what's happened the last two weeks, and if that doesn't convince you, just turn on the news. If you don't think that evil is real and rampant in the world, you got more issues than you already have. And God is not called to see. And here's where the church begins to, to, to kind of miss the mark. So we think, okay, well, let's get out there and, and curse the darkness and just say how bad all these things. Listen, cursing the darkness doesn't help anything. Yes, we stand for righteousness, but no one's ever going to experience the love of Jesus by you just cursing the darkness. You're going to have to show them some light. We're going to have to show them some light. That's why when Jesus came to the world, you notice when Jesus came to earth, he, and finally, you know, he was baptized in the River Jordan, it, Jesus didn't come out and say, all right, yo, yo, y'all better listen up. Everybody come down here and listen to what I got to say. All right, I'm Jesus. I'm the son of God. I created all of this. I created all of you. So everything you've been thinking and doing and all your sin and evil and badness, okay, everybody listen up. Ready? Ready? You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, 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 and you're wrong, you're wrong, very wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Oh, you're so wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Everybody's wrong. I'm right. You got it? Okay, follow me. 